Welcome back to the Aluminum Channel. I'm Scott Drake with my guest, Doug Richmond, who is Vice President of Technology and Engineering with Kaiser Aluminum. We're continuing our discussion on the use of aluminum in automobile manufacturing. Doug, what is the fuel economy benefit of weight reduction? Well, Scott, that is, that is a really important question and one that takes a little thinking about because the answer varies depending on the type of vehicle we're talking about and uh, how extensive the conversion to aluminum is on that vehicle. And what we find is that uh, some vehicles, particularly the larger and heavier vehicles, are getting an extensive uh, conversion to aluminum. In fact, pursuing what we call aluminum intensive vehicle technology. Uh, the whole body and frame of the body and the closure panels it would represent an aluminum intensive vehicles. The other end of the spectrum are the smaller vehicles that are already substantially lighter, and they will get still quite a bit of aluminum conversion, such as engines and transmissions, um, cylinder heads, wheels, but not the body necessarily. So there's a broad range of differences between different vehicle platforms. In most cases uh, of structural applications and bodies, aluminum has surfaced as the most cost-effective strategy for achieving weight reduction. Now, the absolute amount of fuel economy that is gained with, with weight reduction technologies, regardless of whether it's aluminum or any one of the other materials that are under consideration, has been studied extensively both in the United States and uh, overseas in Europe and Asia. And the industry has very much converged on a, a, a simple equation saying that approximately a 10% reduction in vehicle mass achieves about a 6.5% improvement in fuel economy. And I should also note that is also equivalent to about a 6.5% reduction in CO2 emissions. Now, those studies are well publicized, and one of the premier studies in that area, and one that many uh, people in the industry that study weight reduction technology refer to, was actually conducted by Ricardo Consulting Engineers a few years ago. Uh, and that study is actually available on the Aluminum Association website. Doug, what contribution will aluminum make in meeting future weight reduction goals for the car makers? That again is dependent on the amount of aluminization that is in, introduced into each individual platform. Let's start with an aluminum intensive vehicle. Uh, most of the engineering studies on conversion of a vehicle today, with uh, it already being at about 350 pounds of aluminum, converting that to its maximum practical implementation of aluminum, going up to the most conversion in the body and closure panel area, we have been seeing weight reductions on vehicles in the 20 to 25 percent range. Now, if we use the traditional ratio of 6.5% improvement in fuel economy for every 10% reduction in vehicle weight, that works out to be about a 16% increase in fuel economy. Now, the average vehicle today weighs about 3,875 pounds. So that a 25% mass reduction represents a significant reduction in, in vehicle curb weight. That reduction going to aluminum intensive technology would work out to be somewhere between three and five miles per gallon on an individual vehicle. And for the average vehicle in North America, which is the average fuel economy today is about 30 miles per gallon, that would work out to be almost four and a half miles per gallon on the fleet average fuel economy. Great, Doug. Thanks again. It's been a pleasure talking to you today and uh, look forward to talking to you again in the future. My guest has been Doug Richmond. He's Vice President of Engineering and Technology at Kaiser Aluminum. And you're watching the Aluminum Channel.